Oh, there it is. What's up, people? I'm at Starbucks. Um. So that means it's probably about Starbucks. So for tonight, I was like, you know what? I really want me a green tea latte. So that's what I have. A matcha green tea latte. A hot one. Um. Yeah, um, when I get my hot green tea lattes, I prefer sugar-free vanilla, and actually, you shouldn't cost extra money for that. Some drinks, you ask for a syrup, it costs extra, but this one, per se, at least the hot one, does not charge you 60 cents extra. And you might say, ah, 60 cents is nothing. Okay, if your bill is already 482 or four, you know, 48 and you add 60 cents to that, that's now $5 to some change for a small or a medium or a large. You don't want to do that. But this drink, per se, you know, you got a free syrup. Yay. And, you know, some people would be like, well, does it taste good? And if you know me, let me show y'all this. Even though I've been drinking it a few minutes now. You see that? It's like a rich, dark green color. Let me see if I can. It's basically, you take the matcha powder. You, um, okay. Obviously, what they do is they, um, they put the syrup in the cup. And then they, they, um, they take the powder and pour the powder in this metal, this metal thing. And then they pour they pour the milk in there and they steam it for about a minute, if that. They steam it for like a minute, and um, you get like a steam hot green tea latte. And um, I've been this was my first drink from Starbucks ever. The first drink I ever I ever tasted was the green tea latte, and it was a hot one I believe, and because that's how I found out about Starbucks. That's what made me go to Starbucks because. I was doing a project in ninth grade where we had to do Japanese traditions and me and my group was like, you know what, we should do this drink they got called the matcha drink, the green tea and matcha and, the, and some sushi or whatever. So we did that and I tell you, it's hard to find this stuff, but when I looked it up, I found out that Starbucks sold it. And that was the first drink I ever bought there. And for a while, it would be the only drink. And then I started getting iced coffee. And then I started getting other stuff. And now I'm like, oh, I know what you should try. Yeah, you should try this. Oh, how they make it? Okay, they make it this way. Every time I'm over here, an ambulance or poli police has to ride by. Un momento. Anyways, y'all. Yeah, so I just wanted to tell you that if you're going to try that green tea latte, I suggest a sugar-free vanilla. But if you like sweet stuff, go ahead and get regular vanilla. But for those who are like, you know what, I don't need extra sugar, we have the sugar-free for you and for me. So, and I tried this drink with almond milk. It tastes really good. I tried it with soy milk. It tastes pretty creamy. And you know their soy milk is vanilla soy milk. But I'm about to head off. I really just, you know, came at the last minute today. I mean tonight. And um, I just felt like making a YouTube video. Can you blame me? No, you can't. Anyways. So, try the green tea latte. If you like something sweet, then I'll suggest try the, um, I suggest try the green tea frappuccino. If you want something that really, if you really want to taste this, the powder, taste the matcha, go with the ice green tea latte. And if you want something that tastes like vegetables or just, you know, you're cold and you want something hot to drink, go with that hot green tea latte. And you can put like, I wouldn't suggest any other syrup except vanilla, honestly. Maybe chai, but that might taste weird. Uh, I would not suggest no weird flavors for y'all. Even though I'm weird, I, I don't play about my drinks. So, I go with the sugar-free vanilla every time. But, um, 
you should definitely try it once again and it, it was it's pretty affordable it's not expensive um for someone who knows expensive stuff yeah it's not this was like less than five dollars which is not very not very um common for starbucks so um i'll talk to y'all later